Welcome back everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today we got a fun video lined up for you. As you can see here we got some new Ryobi tools to go over. This is model P782, the Ryobi tripod LED stand light, whatever you want to call it. Stick around in the end, I'll let you know if it's worth the money or not. Hit that intro. Alright, here she is in all her glory. Like I said guys, I just got this in yesterday. This is new Ryobi 18 volt 1 plus hybrid tripod stand light model P782. Now, we'll go over all the features, all the specs, we'll talk about it, and let you know if it's worth $130 or not, or not. Already right off the bat, just from the one day I've been using it guys, I can already tell you there are some major issues with this tool. Is it a deal breaker? Only time will tell, because it's brand new. Let's go over the specs on the box here. It says 2700 lumens, guys, high, and it has low 700 lumens. It says it can run up to 10 hours on a P192. So I was checking my batteries, and which is a P192? That's the four amp hour um, HP battery. Because I did a runtime test with this, the, the standard four amp hour battery. We'll go over that in just a second. Uh, it weighs 7.2 pounds. Uh, you can do battery. Or it's a hybrid, you plug it in, right? And that's one thing you notice right off the bat. If you're using a big battery, you gotta move the leg just to get the battery in it. Which is no big deal, really. It has three nice rubber feet. They're very grippy. It's not, it's not plastic, but it's got a little bit of rubber to it. It comes in a box like this, little handle, you can carry it. Figure, you know, how do you get the head up, guys? Right here, there's a little lock button. You push that in, rotate it up, it locks in place. Considering the fact that TTI owns Railby in Milwaukee, I figured that this would be a home run because it's almost like the Gen 5 of the tripod light because Milwaukee has so many. So I thought this would be a freaking home run. But let's start off with the positives. We'll go over the negatives at the end. It has these weird pivot out legs like this. Hard to get out, right? So it has a big stance, guys. Now let's get up to the head. This is as far forward as it goes, and it doesn't lock in any of my positions except for down. That's, so that's really it, down or up. And the only two that it locks in. You can't move it forward. I mean, you can kind of set it here, but it will fall down. See what I'm saying? See what I mean? It's so big it doesn't fit on my table. We're just going to put the legs back just so I can show you guys the features here. Right off the bat, I noticed that the little collars on here are super cheap plastic. And when I got them, they were super loose with it latched down. Yeah, it's tightening. What's no big deal? Little Allen wrench tightens right up. Then it's, it's pretty solid. But like this extended all the way out. I'm going to show you guys what we're talking about here. Of course, you can't do it on the table. All right, just for filming, I'm not going to have to head up all the way. I'm going to make sure it's in the scene. The head, guys, you go front, back, left, right. It rotates all the way around. Now, fully extended, it's five feet. Now, look at this. Let me give it a step out here. Look how wobbly this head is. I just heard it crack. I don't want to break it because I do want to use this light. You can see the plastic molding flexing on here. Jeez Louise. So that right there is the first con. I don't know how long this, this is going to last, honestly guys. And then con number two is this bolt right here on the top. I feel like TGI used the cheapest, smallest screw possible to hold the top on this thing. Check this out. Look how tiny the screw is. And that's what holds the whole entire head on, guys.
That's it. And then this tiny little screw, right? Focus. Right there. Look how small that is compared to my thumb. So, that's what holds the head on. Let me show you an up close shot here, guys, of the wobble. Look at the plastic right there, flexing. Look at that. <sighs> Makes me really nervous. For $130, guys, I expected a little bit better. Lower it down a little bit here. And it's still got a lot of flex to it. Turn out, guys, 2700 lumens. I don't know why they used to make a 3000 like in Milwaukee. And then 700 on low and then off. This does give a pretty good beam. As soon as it gets dark, we're going back here and I'll show you exactly how far this will illuminate a backyard or a workspace area. Hey guys, it's just past dusk. As you can see, there's a little bit of light left, but not much. All right, so from here, from my fire pit here, over to the shed, we'll say it's 50 yards, okay? Got the old tripod set up here. Turn the light on. Boom. So, as you can see, it's pointed down. It lights up a pretty good space. Let's tilt it up a little bit. Yeah, it's straight there. It's a pretty good section it lights up, I'd say. That's high. I'm walking all the way over to the other side of my yard here. To the neighbor's yard here. Yeah, I'd say it's 50 yards from where I am here. Now let's click it on low. It's kind of neat how the housing lights up like that. You can see everything. And low. Wow, quite a bit difference there. Quite a bit difference there, guys. Let me back up for you. You can see the little section just lights up. That's 700 lumens. It's not very much. <sighs> Tracks a lot of bugs, I tell you that much. Some cars drove down my street, literally going 100 miles an hour. Fuck, people are assholes. Okay, so here is off. You can see it's pretty dark. You can barely see the shed, right? There you go. Okay, the swings over there, sandbox, fire pit. I don't want to go too close to the house because then the motion lights will kick on. Fire pit. Yeah, my yard's not very big, guys. I live in the city, what do you expect? Well, I live 10 miles outside of the Twin Cities. There you go, guys. There's a night shot of the new Ryobi tripod LED stand light. As you'll see in the thumbnail picture, I did take the screw off the the head unit there and it is tiny. It's maybe half inch long and the size of it is probably comparable, I'd say, to a quarter inch drill bit. So it's pro that's how big the bolt is holding it on top right here. This bolt right here. 
tiny. That just makes me so mad. And then this is this little piece of plastic and it screws into a piece of plastic inside the aluminum tube. All right, guys. But to be honest with you, I'm kind of mad at Ryobi that they made this thing so cheap. I feel like they're, whoever did quality control or inspected this light didn't know shit. They're just like, yeah, it looks good. Nobody checked it out because this screw that holds the top on is a joke. It's the world's smallest screw. I mean, it really pisses me off, guys. Like, I almost... Go check one out for yourself, guys. You'll know what I'm talking about. I mean, the Milwaukee M12 light is 150 bucks, 160 bucks, and it's built way better than this. This is, I mean, yeah, the legs are aluminum, but that's the one metal on the whole damn thing. It's all plastic. The neck here, this is metal, but then the collars are plastic. So that's about it. This is pretty cheap for the carrying strap, guys. It's just a little nylon strap. I mean, it's pretty fucking cheap. Excuse my language, guys. I don't know. There you go. Uh, that's my review, guys. I'm neutral on it. I'm very disappointed in those two features. I feel like it's gonna break. If somebody were to knock this over and it would, bam, hit the ground, it would break instantly. Especially if it was cold out, this would not last in the cold, I guarantee it. Um, they did not think this one through. They were, I felt like they rushed it, and I hope the rest of the new Ryobi stuff is not as poorly made as this. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I'm always happy to get back to you. Don't forget to hit that bell notification, guys. Lots of new videos coming up, lots of Ryobi tools coming, lots of other stuff coming, guys. Um, hit the bell, subscribe, leave your comments, guys. Tell your friends, put your playlists. Don't forget to go over and check out my other channel, Al's writing a blog. Mostly car audio stuff, guys. I love uh, just putting out videos and interacting with you guys. We have the best freaking fans in the world. Yeah, almost about to break 8,000 subscribers, guys. Freaking can't believe it. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm very humbled. Um, with that being said, guys, have a blessed night, guys. See ya.